Okay, we're going to insert some sliders into this to make a linear equation, just like a previous video that was made, except we're going to kind of shortcut it. We're going to shortcut it by just using only the input box down here on the bottom. And all I'm going to do is type in a standard uh, linear equation in slope intercept form, but I'm going to put variables in there. Like instead of putting 3 times x plus 2, I can type in that and boom, there's that equation. But now I'm going to do another one. This one I'll make dynamic by saying y equals m times x plus b. Now I'm using pretty common variables for the slope and the intercept. Just so you know, there are a few letters that you can't use. Like z, you can't use as a variable. Y and x are already reserved for equations. All those kind of things that are kind of reserved for other stuff won't let you insert a slider. So I'm going to put y equals mx plus b, press enter, and what do you know? It says create sliders for b and m. Yes, I want to create sliders. So there you go. It just puts them kind of in a standard place on the page. Uh, but now I have pieces for this equation. So I can move it up and down. I can change the slope. And I can go back and I can change these if I want to go into the object properties. I can change the range for the numbers. I can change the color. The style is just kind of the thickness of the line there. There's a lot of stuff you can change. You can make it oscillated. You can change it horizontal, vertical, or how long the actual slider is visually. All these things you can adjust. To close the object properties, I would just click this X right there. So there you go, sliders using the input box. Oh, just to prove to you that not it doesn't always work for other things, Let's try y equals w times x plus z. Now z is one of those letters that it won't let you use, so notice it says create sliders for w. They wouldn't let me use that one, so I'm going to cancel that. And instead of z, I'll put y equals w times x plus, how about the letter d? Now that D is an open variable that I can use. And you can get really specific like D1, B1, A1, M1, all that kind of stuff. So, and then it will give me two more sliders. And at this point, maybe I would want to color code where I could color code these. Let's say I'll make them, how about red? And I'll make this W also red. And then I'll make the line that goes with those red. So if I move this up and down, that means it's that line right there. Make it all red. So there we go. We have all that stuff changing. Now for the other one, let's make this one blue. So we got black goes with the black line, red goes with the red line, and the blue one's already there. So there you go. Inserting equations with sliders using the input box.